What's good, everybody? Who's excited? Are you as excited as I am today? What's up? My name is Paul the Fifth. Fifth. I've got something really cool to share with you today. Before we do that, two things I gotta get out of the way. Number one, lighting. Even though I have hella allergy issues, I'm trying to bring some of the springtime vibe here into the studio since I have no windows. Number two, if you've been keeping up with me, you've probably seen me wear this shirt a lot. Probably saying, Paul, why do you constantly wear black shirts? Well, let me tell you why. why. Before I started doing the studio stuff, I worked as a stagehand doing corporate AV. And any stagehand will tell you their attire is all black. Black shirts, black pants, black socks, everything. So in my closet, all my apparel is 90% black shirts and black pants. There you go. All right, cool things happening today. You ready? Get your thinking cap on. You're gonna learn. I'm excited to teach you. Who's ready? Let's go. Go. Show real. Here's what I'm so excited about for today's content. The past few episodes, I've showed you a progression of things. I showed you two good bundles to get set up with for the first time beginner. I showed you how to get a couple things set up. Last week, I showed you five places to get yourself free software. And today, I'm showing you how to set up your very first session. I'm doing that in Pro Tools and in Apple's Logic. A few preparation steps to get things going before we start. Have you got yourself an external hard drive? No? Yes? Well, if you did, one of the first things you might need to do is get that hard drive formatted. It should come with an instruction guide. If it doesn't, let me show you what to do. For my demonstration purposes for all my tutorials, I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro as well as an M1 Mac Mini. I'm using my standard Pro Tools subscription, and at the current time of this filming, I'm using Apple's Logic 10.6. Step one, one, plug your hard drive into your laptop. For today's video, I've got dongles all over the place. This one happens to have four LED lights. Plug you in and shortly, there's my hard drive. Now I've already got my hard drive formatted and set up, but I'm gonna show you how to do this for the first time. Step one, pull up your launch pad and go to other, and then you'll go to disk utility. You'll click on that hard drive. What you'll want to do is go to erase. Now I'm not going to do that because I've got almost one and a half terabytes worth of data on here. I'm not trying to lose the last three years worth of work, but once you do that, you'll erase it and then name it. Simple as that. Step two, two. Two ways to make sure that your interface and computer are talking together. Let's go to system preferences. Then we can go to sound. And on your input or output, you can choose what your connection is. Currently mine defaults to the MacBook Pro speakers. There's a Pro Tools aggregate, but I'm gonna use my Scarlett 18 i 20. We'll select that for the input and the output. Cool. That's one way to ensure that your computer and interface are communicating. There's another way that's within your DAW, and that stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Let's keep moving on. Step number three comes in a couple parts. We'll pull up Logic, File, New. At the moment, I'll create a session with one audio track, Create. This next conversation is about keeping things organized. There's nothing worse than trying to pull up a session. You can't remember how you may have named it, the date, the title, keyword. If you've got a friend or family member or paying client with you, not only is that not being organized, but it's also rather unprofessional. Let me help you avoid that. There's a number of ways you can stay organized. Here's a couple things that I do. One thing I like to do is start off by putting the date, the title, and then maybe some keywords key elements about the session so I can remember things. Let's title this 4621 Logic First Sesh. We'll save that to my Legacy Studios hard drive. 
I'll come down here to my logic sessions. I'll put a new folder titling that the same way. 4621 logic first sesh. Create, bam, there it is. Save in logic. Here's how we check to make sure your computer and interface are communicating. In logic, we go to preferences, audio, and right here, your input and output device, it's already selected as such, but if it was defaulting to the MacBook Pro speakers, you would just click down and change it to your 18i20, and down here, apply. Cool. Let's do the same thing for Pro Tool. Do you remember that? That is your iLock. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to get yourself one from the iLock website, how to create an account, and how to get it registered. Let's plug this in to my dongle. Most likely, Pro Tools is not gonna work unless you have your iLock plugged in. Sometimes you're able to use your cloud session and logging in that way. But for today's purposes, we will have that plugged in. We go to Pro Tools. As my good friend and former instructor used to title Pro Tools, he used to call it Slow Tools. This is why. Oh, there it goes. Sometimes upon setting up Pro Tools, like it is now, it may have you try to go through and register some of your plugins. I'm gonna bypass this for today's video. Speed it up rather. Finally, there's a lot of plugins that aren't being recognized that has to do with the M1 chip. We'll just hit no. Slow tools, setting up your first Pro Tools session. Here we go. Very similar process here. Pro Tools, we will go to create new. Same thing, today's date, 4 6 21, first sesh. Now one thing about Pro Tools, it doesn't like periods. It may not allow me to do the slashes in here. On organization in Pro Tools, we'll go to location, my legacy studio hard drive. For the time being, I'll just go ahead and choose logic sessions, new folder, 4621, PT first sesh, create, open, create. Yep, it didn't let me do it. So I'll just do four, six, 21, PT, first sesh. I'm gonna try to save it to the same folder. And voila. Cool. Within Pro Tools, let me show you the settings to make sure your computer recognizes your interface. Up here, go to setup, layback engine. Right now it's saying MacBook Pro microphone. We'll hit our down arrow and we'll choose our Scarlet 18i20 USB. Yes, okay. Same thing, we'll check. Setup, playback engine, and it's sync. Sweet. Day, day two of this filming for me for this video. I am back. My name is Paul the Fifth. Fifth. And yesterday I showed you how to create your very first session within Pro Tools and Logic. I'm sure that's very exciting for the first time beginner. And earlier in this video, I gave you some tips on how to stay organized. Here are a few ways that you can pull up those recent sessions. By recents, by keywords, or by the date. Let's check it out. From my hard drive, we'll type in first sesh. And there it is. The other thing we can do in Logic, under file, open recent. There it is there. In Pro Tools, you can do the same thing. File, open recent, there it is. So let's try to find it by the date, 4, 6, 21. And there we go. Once we type that in up here on the top, you'll notice at the bottom, it's very organized and detailed. You'll notice it's under the Legacy Studio hard drive in a Logic Sessions folder and in a more detailed folder, 4621 PT First Sesh. That's the three ways that you can find those recent sessions. Oh yeah, a couple things I want to show you. Know the difference? This one is my current iLock. See this one? It has teeth marks in it. 
It was my old iLock that I used on my very first Avid account and my dog Samson chewed it up as you can see by the teeth marks. I've kept it for sentimental reasons. Unfortunately, a few years ago, he was getting old and his body was wearing down. So Samson is no longer with me, but I still hang on to this as a reminder of those wonderful times I had with that damn dog. Let me plug this in and we'll pull up these sessions. We can search a couple different ways. The way I saved things earlier was first sesh. Let's type that in. And what do you know that pops up? And then here's the logic session. Let's get that pulled up. And there it is. Let's see if we can find our Pro Tools session. I'll pull up a new finder window, Legacy Studios hard drive, first sesh. Here we go. I labeled it 4621 PT for sesh for Pro Tools. We'll click on that folder. There it is. This might take a second to hopefully it doesn't pull up all those plugins again. I'm gonna pull up my Focusrite software. Well, after doing a software update on the Focusrite control, I finally got things to work. Let's take a look. So let's create a new track in Logic. Make things simple, no shortcuts or key commands. We'll go to track, new tracks. We have a selection of software instrument, external MIDI, guitar or bass, drummer. Let's do audio, input one. So this microphone is a condenser microphone. Its internal components are very sensitive and it lacks a little power. We need to add phantom power meaning that it's lacking or not there and that may show on your interface plus 48 volts while it's not built into the software it is built into the hardware on the interface let's push that button, button. button. now that we have phantom power enabled the moment we've all been waiting for let's hit that red r button let's go ahead and hit that we have signal. Your boy can't flow, I can't rap or any of that. So I'm just gonna say what comes to mind. Ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a young man and his name was Paul the Fifth. Fifth. <laughs> okay. So, let's play it back. Once upon a time, there was a young man and his name was Paul the Fifth. Fifth. I hate the sound of my voice. That's how you do that. If you want to dive into things a little more, I'll show you a couple other things here. If you want to go to track, let's just do audio tracks, do new tracks. Let's do five, five. In this corner, there's loops. Let's go to genre. Yes. Take that loop right there. Take that riser. Once upon a time, there was a young man, and his name was Paul the Fifth. Yeah, so that's a little bit of logic for you. Let's go back to Pro Tools. We'll follow the same similar steps. Track, new, mono, audio, create. Let's title that. PTF or Paul the fifth. Fifth, fifth. One thing you might want to do is if we go to your top menu, go to window, transport. That brings up this little guy here. That lets you fast forward, rewind, stop and record. We'll hit that R button. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. My name's Tall V. I'm really hungry and I can't flow and I don't know what to say anymore because I don't know how to rap because I'm just very hungry and this is very pitiful. Okay. Stop that nonsense. All right, let's play that back. back. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. My name's Tall V and I'm really hungry and I can't flow and I don't know what to say anymore because I don't know how to All right, so that was awful. I'm gonna drink to that. All right, so today I have showed you how to create your first session in Pro Tools and in Logic. 
also before that process showed you how to get things organized by saving things by the date and keyword. Also just showed you how to pull things up by those dates and keywords. If you got any value out of today's video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about my progression is here at Legacy Studios. If you're interested in more content like this and you like what you saw today, I would appreciate that thumbs up. If you would, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you know what me, Paul, the fifth fifth is up to here at Legacy Studios. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And you know who I am. My name is Paul, the fifth. fifth.